Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're cooking up some stuffed veggie peppers at the pit. And it's real easy to do, of course. And that's what I said, stuffed veggie peppers. Now, for this recipe, you're going to need some green bell peppers. Get them as big as you can. Oh, and by the way, subscribe, follow us if you can. We appreciate your support. Now, we've uh, cut the tops off the uh, bell peppers, right? Cleaned them out. You don't want the seeds. Get rid of some of the white meat in there. And uh, we're going to steam these for about 10 minutes. And we're doing this so we can get these uh, peppers nice and tender for this dish. All right. We put the tops on there, too, because we want them. And like I said, steam them for about 10 minutes. So while we're waiting, we're going to uh, chop up some mushroom. And here we've got some uh, typical button mushrooms. Use your favorite mushroom. And now we're going to add it to the veggie meat. And here we're using venison. We've got some fresh white-tailed venison. And if you've ever had the pleasure of eating this meat, <laughs> it just doesn't get any better. Now to this recipe, we're also going to add some red pepper flakes. Here we've got some garlic powder. You need some garlic. And here we have some uh, dried parsley. And here we've got about a cup of cheese. Now we're going to do this in two segments just so we can easily mix everything together. And uh, use your hands. That's what they're for. All right. Again, we did it. Broke it down into... Uh, two segments here and this way we get a nice mix again the garlic powder the parsley and we're also going to add about quarter cup of spg or about three tablespoons all right the spg has a salt pepper and garlic some great flavorings and we're going to add some more fat and here we've got some olive oil and we're doing that because as you know right Venison is extremely lean. Now, add the rest of the cheese. Now, you can head on over to our website to get the exact ingredients, right? And uh, print it out if you must. All right, so while you're letting it sit for a bit, add a little bit of your wine. Again, we're adding moisture and additional flavor to this dish. If you don't have wine, uh, use a good beer, if you know what I'm saying. All right. The peppers were steamed, and now we want to fry the uh, ground venison and the mix, right? Simple to do. Right. Oh, man. All right. In a miracle of time, they're done. And now we're going to take the freshly steamed bell peppers and add them to a baking dish, whatever you got, right? Now... This is a classic dish for hunters out there, and there's a lot of them who follow us. And, uh, and hunters are often some of the best cooks around because they learn how to do it. They're stewards of the land, and, uh, and they also become great cooks. Uh, there's just not a lot of recipes out there, right? So this is a perfect recipe for the camp. You make these up, and you're gonna feel real good plenty of energy for the next morning, right? <laughs> so we'll pack each bell pepper with the ground venison. Right? And don't pack it tight. You want it to remain tender throughout the cook. Oh man. And now we're going to take some tomato sauce and spoon it on the top of each bell pepper. And as this cooks, of course, the tomato sauce will slowly melt down inside. And now we're going to take some uh, Parmesan cheese. A lot of flavor right there. Just throw it on the top. You, of course, could use what cheese you want, but the Parmesan is good. Now, to keep everything together, we're going to put the tops of the peppers back on. And this will help Keep the moisture inside as well. And you might need a couple of toothpicks 
to seal it and keep it there. Now, we're going to throw it in an oven, right? About a 400-degree oven Fahrenheit. And it's about, um, it only takes maybe 35, 40 minutes or so. You can uh, check it with your uh, chef's thermometer if you want. And take a look at that. Can you smell that? It smells good. And if you can't, well, you're on the wrong damn channel. All right. Now, this is the best part, is the eating part. And if you've never had venison before, oh, man, you're missing something out of your life, like I said. Now, take a look at this. See all that moisture in there? And as you know, often uh, Mama, when she cooks her stuffed peppers, they get real dry and hard on the inside. Well, this is the way to avoid it. Now, some of you right now are asking, well, what was the veggie meat part of this? Well, it's like this. White-tailed deer eat nothing but veggies and a lot of veggies. <laughs> so like I said, uh, head on over to our website. Uh, to get the exact recipe, if you're on the tube, subscribe to us. We appreciate it. And if you're on the face, well, follow us. We've got about 5 million followers and subs now. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.